Well, what have we got here? Is it worth anything or is it just scrap iron? Let's find out right after this. <laughs> Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man. And if you recall in a video here the other day or so, I showed you this plow that I got, which is a 4240. We can see on the tag, it says 4240, if that focuses. And, you know, when I glanced at it the first time, I thought, hooray, it's a 4240 because one of the easiest ways to tell between the 4340 is that it has longer uh, non-bearing hubs they're just like bushings in there slid on a shaft and small tail wheel in back however some later 4240s did in fact have a larger tail wheel but the more i watched while i was editing that video i started noticing some differences between a 4240 that I had in my mind, you know, the stuff that that stuck out in my mind as the way a 4240 should look. Uh, one of them being, I guess, the hitch. This plow has the sort of hitch like you would find on like the plow masters, round rod, and then notches in it, and you could set it wherever you wanted it. And, uh, so that kind of had me puzzling there. I thought, is this, uh, has this plow been put together out of several plows, or what's the deal? Second thing was this hydraulic cylinder lift. On the pictures that I had in my head and literature that I thought I had seen, these plows had, similar to a 4340, which was like a straight piece out, and then that little adapter piece that folds up. I can get a picture of that maybe here in a little bit so you can see. And so I thought, well, maybe this was a mechanical lift plow that was changed over to hydraulic. So, you know, I had that in my mind and I thought, well, I can probably find parts and put it back. Third thing was back here, this cast arm for lifting. And I thought, you know, in a lot of the literature I've seen, it has heavy steel, you know, made into a fork to push on that. So there were just things that I thought, well, maybe they robbed this off of different plows and put it together. But in fact, I did find a piece of literature, and you can see all three of those features, so I know that this was, in fact, uh, the way it was supposed to be. Which tells me that this is a very early 4240 because of having all three of those things. Uh, the later ones, like I said, they switched to that uh, steel lifting fork. They had the straight piece for the lifting hydraulic. They had a flat bar adjustment hitch with holes in it, like on the 4340. And they had a cast uh, clevis on here for pulling. But this is exactly the way it should be. So this plow is in fact set up the way I believe it should have been. It has had some reinforcing done to it. And I would say that they had trouble, uh, you know, with different things over time. Maybe bolts have come out and different things. So we're gonna have to look and figure out what to do to make this, you know, the best that it possibly can be the way it should be. But uh, I believe now looking at it that it is in fact pretty well the way it should be. I mean. There's nothing that screams out of the ordinary. I, I need to try to find better pictures of all this to see, you know, what the what the deal was, what it had here, because we've got washers put in. So somebody's had that off at the very least. You know, maybe they were trying to make it line up better, or maybe it fell off or broke or bent. I don't know. So I got to find out what this what the story is there. Uh, you know, like this here makes me kind of wonder. If that's not, that's probably not the right bolt and it was supposed to have a pin all the way through. Uh, we'll figure that out. I thought maybe it had been converted from mechanical lift and maybe it has been. And they just did a close, close job of it. But when I look at this hub, this is in fact the hub you would have had 
to have mechanical lift because your little uh, rollers for your rooster comb would have mounted in here. But to me, it looks like this has never really had anything bolted to it. You would have seen a lot more wear on everything. So I'm thinking what they did was you just got the same hub, whether you had mechanical or hydraulic, and they just didn't put the, you know, all the stuff you had to have then if you didn't need it. So, like I said, I need to do some more studying. I'll put in pictures of the literature so you can see what I'm talking about, but uh, I did find literature that was showing all these features. And consequently, the, uh, I guess the common thought or what I had in my mind too was that this came out in like 1955, this uh, 4240 plow, because uh, that's the piece of literature you most often see. But that other piece I found says 54. So I think that they probably did in fact come out in 54, you know, but I don't know what time of year. So this would have been a plow from the super era, definitely. Uh, if we look down here, see here, I'm not really sure what, what exactly we have. I'm not, we're going to have to pull this all off to see. Maybe this is the other half of our roller plate. And, but that doesn't really make sense either. Cause this is, I don't know. I'm not sure what this is or why it's here. It's supposed to have a little retainer to hold the hub on. Maybe this went on first and then your rollers went in between it. Maybe it was a hydro or a uh, mechanical lift plow, but like I said, I just don't see the wear on that hub that would make me think that unless the hub broke and they replaced it. But we're going to take all this off eventually and uh, try to figure out what's the, what's the deal. Cause this is not right like this. Uh, but I really do want to try to put this back the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, part of me thinks that maybe that's what happened. Maybe that other piece goes on first and then this, and then you had your rollers on shafts through there for lifting, but I don't know. I mean, who knows at this point? Like I said, the parts books that I have for a 4240 do not show the early stuff. So I don't know if I can acquire a parts book that has the older versions in it, but uh, we're certainly going to try. I mean, you look at this and you think it's definitely been cobbled on, but some of the pieces look too good to just be amateur made. So they modified something. Uh, you know, maybe it just wasn't heavy enough and it bent. Who knows? It's probably got some stories to tell. But basically, this is a pretty solid plow as far as being complete and uh, restorable. I don't think it's going to be too awful much work to get it back in the ground again. Uh, the most time-consuming thing is probably going to be cutting that apart again and welding it up like we did on that other plow just to... Uh, you know, make it where it's one piece, but not going to do this again and not look ridiculous. You know, I don't like it to look cobbled if possible, but, uh, that's, I don't know. I don't know when we're going to get to this. It's just something that I want to get done, but we need to get it in better shape than it is now. I want it to not be sitting all down in the dirt like this. So when we put it over where it's going to live, we'll set it on a pallet or something we'll come up with some some plan this has got to be straightened and i'm gonna have to get more uh welding gas because i'm out and maybe i can heat that and gently t tap it down or something to get it get it back where it's supposed to be hopefully it doesn't just keep bending uh i don't know just i didn't really get to look at it good the other day you know, I see these, and I guess they did that so that the culture doesn't fall all the way down through, but I don't really know whose invention that was or if that's something that came with this style culter because this doesn't look like the cultures that it should have, but 
I don't know. If you know more about it, leave it in the comments because I'm very curious to know things. Here, this side, you can see, uh, you know, this piece that it's supposed to have, which, oh, it's not even really attached, so that's really good. But that's the kind of thing it's supposed to have on it uh, to retain it. And then I think it's supposed to have a hubcap over top of it, just a pressed steel something or other. So I doubt that those will be findable, but you never know. I mean, there's parts out there if you just know where to look. But overall, I'm happy with this. It's something solid to start with. Add to my collection of many things that I probably will never get done in my lifetime. But hey, you know, it's better than... Sitting in the scrapyard getting cut up to make Chinese chopsticks, so I'd rather it live here with me. We can go look at the 4340 now, and I'll just point out that stuff again so you can compare. And then maybe I can put the things side by side and show you again, but let's take a walk. What's neat about having all these plows is that you can see the evolution of their thought process on how they were doing things as you go through from the earlier to the later so here's our three bottom 4340 and uh yeah i need to get a tire back on this before that rim goes down in there so lifting here is the thing i was talking about this actually you can pull that pin and it will come up as the cylinder retracts but that is kind of the lifting style that I had in my mind is what a 4240 was supposed to have and the later literature shows that same way with the hitch you can see the cast uh, hooker upper piece clevis that's the word I'm looking for I'm not totally stupid uh, the hitch with the holes to make your adjustment instead of the uh, round thick steel rod with the notches and I would just guess that they probably did this because it was cheaper to make maybe because a flat piece of steel with some holes punched in it was probably i don't know cheaper it's probably not as heavy in physical weight and it was less maybe involved process than cutting grooves and i don't know but anyway you can see the change they made there the handle mechanism is pretty well unchanged in a lot of regards that rod, that reminds me, I wonder if that parts plow I parted out, if that rod would be the same, because I have, I have one, probably, maybe, sort of, in that pile, I had to check that out, uh, and then back here, our tail wheel is a little bit all, all different here, I don't know, maybe that, maybe that bottom piece is the same, because I noticed that one on the other one is missing a chunk out of here, That'd be super cool if that was the same, but I doubt it is. Uh, this one looks a little more beefed up, but who knows. Here's the lifting fork, different than the other one. Uh, uh, this gap looks a lot wider too, so that might be something to that. But anyway, again, I would say this was probably cheaper to make because it's just flat steel and probably also less prone to breakage more bendage before breakage because that other piece is cast so that's probably what their thought process was there uh, otherwise very similar plows you know the hubs like i said big wheel in the back and as we know from our previous plow videos they're on tapered roller bearings on these as opposed to the uh you know bushing style long hub like what's on that other plow so anyway definitely enough projects here to keep me busy i really wanted to do some more plowing videos this spring and fire up some more of these than we did last year this one really impressed me last year with how good it did just straight out of the box basically i mean i lifted it off the trailer fixed this handle and you've seen the footage of it and it it seemed to plow really well, so I uh, can't complain about this one at all. And this is the kind of treatment we'll give that that other handle. Still looking for springs, so if you know where there's some at, let me know, because I'd like to make it somewhat nice. I guess for now, I'll probably just try to find a heavy spring and 
you know, hook it in one end and make something to, like eye bolt or something in the other end to pull it tight, maybe with some chain, I don't know, I'll come up with something. But I'd like to put them back the way they're supposed to be, what I'm saying. So, anyway, I hope that makes it clearer if you have a 4240 versus a 4340. Uh, people often wonder the differences, and so that's the stuff I've noticed. There might be more. Maybe you can leave that in the comments if you know more. Uh, but I'll put in pictures of literature in this video so you can see uh, the stuff that I'm talking about, too. So my cousins who have the John Deere combine actually have a three bottom 4240 plow. And I really want to try to acquire that from them because, hey, it's another one I don't have. But now I'm super curious. I need to go over there and just at least look at it. And I want to see if it, you know, has the early style stuff or what it's got. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's a small tail wheel plow too. But now that I know what I know, I've seen small tail wheel plows, I think, with the different style stuff combination. So I don't know if just as they, as they ran out, they used up what they had and there are plows out there that are kind of like, you know, maybe they have the later hitch, but the early tail cast, the, I don't know. So, interesting. You would think that as parts were updated, they would make it in such a way that they would fit the older plows so that that was possible because you really would not make a very good friend of a customer if you said, hey, you know, they come in to get a, a new piece because their tail lift wheel thing broke and you say, well, we don't make that anymore. We're going to sell you a whole plow. I don't... I don't think that would work. I think there's some amount of uh, field changeability on this stuff, but I could be wrong about that too, you know. Maybe in this case, like if that was the failure, the fix was, you know, whole new tailwheel assembly, I don't know, from back there. I, Who knows? If you know, you can say something, because I like to learn things like that. But uh, anyway, just an interesting... Uh, video i guess on the differences that you know maybe people don't talk about but you see because you see a lot of stuff listed for sale and it's not really listed accurately because people just don't know they're not trying to be malicious about it necessarily they just don't know the differences between 42 40 43 40 they see a plow that looks something like that with that kind of beam and they say well that's a 43 40 well no it's not there's so many things that could make it you know something different so hopefully that helps clear up some of the confusion in case you have one of these and uh, you know you'll be able to correctly identify it if your tags missing well I guess well before we go on the subject of things that I acquire I'll show you this I just got on a pallet this is a supposed to be super 77 diesel engine i haven't compared casting numbers yet but uh i got this for my super 77 diesel hoping that maybe this block was better than mine however after studying it it appears to me that it is cracked a little bit I might be wrong on that, but it just looks like it is. However, it's not nearly as badly cracked as mine is. Mine is ripped open all the way down. So I'm going to clean this up better just to verify. Uh, but I will probably use this block to start building a motor for my Super 77 diesel because it is very tired, as you know. And I need to take this down apart as soon as possible, probably, because after shipping it it probably got water in it it was raining the day it came is what i'm saying measure everything make sure that it is uh super 77 stuff and then i can get this block stripped down we can fix the crack have it ready to start building back and then you know we get to a certain point we'll just pull the other motor out put this motor in and then start bolting the other pieces back on that's my plan anyway so 
I really want to make that a usable tractor too because it's all painted up now and it's just been sitting there doing practically nothing and that really bothers me but I was kind of mad at it after after that happened so that's the plan I feel I got a really good deal on this block even if it needs work it's still not uh, not too bad so uh, that's hopefully going to be in upcoming videos at some point but as you know I've got so much stuff lined up that I don't know when it's going to be. I've got eight tractors of other people's lined up to work on. So it's going to be a while probably before I get to my own stuff. I'm trying to squeeze my own stuff in between everything. And so I haven't put out videos on working on other people's stuff yet. And I probably should do that so that they don't think I'm just not making any progress on their stuff. But uh, hopefully now things will calm down and we can start getting back to doing projects like this. So anyway that is in the future and hopefully you'll see it soon well as always if you enjoy my videos give them a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss whatever comes next leave a comment you know all that stuff helps the channel and i can keep making uh videos that feature oliver and white tractors as always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one